Hello, Georgie Burns again. Welcome back to my card making. Today I'd like to show you this card. Now this card was sent to me by my card pal for the Rainbow Week. And she made this card and it sits up like that. And I thought, oh, I like that idea. I'll case it. I'm not doing this the same, just the card base like that. So I made this card and it sits up like that. So I'm going to show you how I made this card thanks to my friend Sam who made this and gave me the idea to do. So I'm going to show you how I made this card. Not very, didn't burnish it very well. Um, to make this card I've used this stamp set which I haven't used for a long time floral essence and I'm using the big flower the infill and the leaves and the sentiment wishing you a blissful future right. for the card stock I have got a piece of black card of four and one eighth by eight and a quarter Yeah, four and one eighth by eight and a quarter. And another piece of three and a half by eight and a quarter. Because I'm using black, I have to do the back as well. So I have got four pieces of white cardstock at three and a half by four inches. And I've got four pieces of that. So they're three and a half by four inches. And I've got some TSP. Uh, I can't remember what this is called. And this is from the. This was actually in the clearance rack. That's why I've got it. And these are three and one eight. Oh no, three and a quarter by four in three and seven eighths. So it's three and a quarter by three and seven eighths. And they will go on like that. And I have got two pieces, one for the front and one for the back. So let's stick these on now, on two of them. So we don't need to do anything else with them. Just stick these on. As you might have heard in my previous videos, I'm having to use older stamps because my order hasn't come. And I had card plans ready for my order. And everything had to change. So I've got two like that, one for the front. I'm going to put that one that way so that flower shows. And one for the back. And then these two, one I will stamp on, and one is for the back, for you to write your sentiment on. I'll put them to one side, move that. Now we have to score these, put the lid on the glue. So I'll bring my scoreboard up. Now I am going to zoom you out. I'm going to have to stand up. I'm just want to get your in shot. <clears throat> right then. With the eight and a quarter by three and a half, <coughs> you need to score at four and one eighth. Just do four and one eighth. That's that one. Now with the other one at eight and a quarter by four and one eighth, you need to score at three and a half four and one eight four and three quarters I didn't write it down One, two, three, four, five. yeah four and three quarters 
and that should leave that at three and a half which it does so that was three and a half four and one eighth four and three quarters and that is that done bring in a bit So now we need to fold first one over, the second one we need to fold that in the way, and then the third one over, and then that will line up like that. This one we just fold it in half and burnish and then these will sit on top like that. It'll be like that. First of all we need to stick our papers on. Right, this one is a back one. And we're going to stick that just there. And that's the back of our paper. And this one's going to go there. No, it's, it's going to go that way so we can see more of the flower. them to done like that put that to one side and this one we just want to keep it plain and pop this on to one side of the back and then once that goes on there that's what the back will look like. So now we're going to get into our stamping with this one. We are going to stamp our flowers first, no our sentiment first, so I know where my flowers go. So right, wishing you a blissful future I am going to stamp just there like that and now I have got 19A but I don't know what this is going to turn out like because I've never done these flowers in night and navy before but these flowers are night and navy so ink it up really well and I'm going to stick one there and then we're going to mask that and I'm going to put one there putting an extra pressure where it's on the mask put that mask back on and mask up this one as well because we've got our leaves to do so with the old olive We're going to pop some leaves on. Now I did do one coming down here. 
and one out there. Need to have my marks are not very sticky anymore. Because they're that old. Right, one going up the top there. And we'll have one, just one, coming down here. Right, leave that like that. And with balmy blue, I am just going to put some splatter dots around the edges. Not a lot of them. Just a few. Right. I'm going to do it on middle bits. So I've got Daffodil Delight here and the centre bit. And we're going to pop that just like that in there. Miss that one. That's better. Just don't matter. And we are. And that is our front done. I'm going to bin them. And this will sit on top of that. Like that. So let's glue that on. bring in this face and we're going to glue this onto here but we need to measure it first I think I'll put that too high up let's need to See the black at the top then it was annoying. Right now I'm going to use this as my guide so I'm putting that at the one inch and it comes up at three and a half. Right we need this to five and seven eighths. So what I'm going to do, that's five and seven eighths. I am going to draw a line there. Yeah, I can see it. So that needs to sit there, nice and straight. And that will give me my five and seven eighths card. So we need to just glue that bit and 
place this on there with equal distance either side and as straight as you can get it. And close it up and place that one down. So put some glue on this. And we have it. Now we've got to do is add some gems. All right, I have got these gems. I don't know when I got these. I've had them for ages. I got them at a, a Stamping Up convention. We went. I went to, and I'm going to add these greeny coloured ones. I'm just going to add three of them. There. Even got some of that green velvet ribbon. I found these down the back of a drawer, so God knows how long I had them. The name's been cut off, so... Right, that is my card done. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.